Welcome to Gray Overload. I'm Anthony, and here's my little solar setup I promised you guys here for a while. So this is just a 120 watt panel there, and then I'll have the battery and the controller with it all wired up, and then you can see the camera up on top here. We'll walk up and take a look at it. That's just the G4 Pro, or G4 Instant, I should say. I want to try out, and <laughs> this shed's coming down. And so this was my test before I kind of went the other uh, and put it on a, a different shed here. But we have that G4 Instant here, USB-C cable into the controller. And as you can see here, the controller is even still um, some solar coming in, even though it's a cloudy day. It does pretty well. This is facing the west, so it still gets there. And then you'll see the batteries connected. And this is just a, um, the battery's a 20 amp hour. And I'll put all this in the description below. But you can see there, I got, I ran everything through this um, box. And the box is actually really nice, actually, here. I really enjoy this box. It's sealed, it's clear, so you can come look at it and um, take a look at it. The only thing I really wish I had was on this is the controller to be wireless so that it could actually communicate back and I could actually monitor the battery status and everything there but as you see um, I have a USB type A to USB C cable which is ran down through the bottom and then that comes up to the camera here whoops up on top sorry about the throwing the gimbal all over the place but then you just have this panel, and the panel's just <laughs> leaned up against the shed right now. I do need to <laughs> move it in a better area. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, you look at the, <laughs> my box needs some help. But this is the little setup here. My, my question for you guys um, here is what else do you think I can do? I'm going to mount a solar panel on the roof of my new shed. I'm going to put this box over there, maybe mount it inside of the shed instead of mount it outside. Even though this box is for outside, I might do a little bit bigger setup. Or I'm putting a swing set um, up as well. Maybe this box goes there. I'm trying to get wireless throughout my property so the kid's swing set will have that. Um, I guess my gimbal's dropping out here. Sorry about that. But you have this down there. And maybe that goes to the swing set. And then I'll still have some cameras and wireless access points. So what I want to do is put a um, converter from just DC power into an Ethernet to run a PoE switch. Uh, maybe a Ubiquiti Flex. And then go from there and uh, kind of go through at that point. What do, you, what do you guys suggest for that type of setup? If you have any suggestions, I'll be more than willing to take those into account as I expand this setup um, and hopefully kind of improve it because I want to be able to, you know, set up some, you know, maybe a wired cameras and go from there. And I think that would be kind of pretty cool for this entire setup here. So this is a little solar setup that I have. It's been working great. It's been up for multiple months and it's pretty close to the house so that I can um, get the wireless it needs and I need to mount some more wireless outside to get a much better setup, much better signal. But this has been up in the winter time. It's snowed on the panel. It's all melted off. And this is facing west, so it doesn't even get all the sun or even the morning sun. It is just this little bit um, in the afternoon once it comes around, you know, because the house shades it. There's trees and everything, so it gets basically late. The battery's always topped off. I haven't, the battery has not ran out since it's been outside. It's been really a nice setup here. I can go multiple days, maybe three, four, five days without having to worry with this little camera on here. It doesn't draw much at all, which has been a great benefit overall, but this is, this shed's going down. So I have to, it'll be now facing east, the solar panel. And um, so it should get a much better sun throughout the day be able to charge up this probably even a bigger battery this is only 20 amp hour battery it's 12 volt I didn't uh, you know I like to go 24 volt but I did not go that route it was a, this is a smaller case but like I said if I go to a different setup 
maybe I get a different battery, maybe more panels, etc. There. Let me know what you guys have done. This controller too. We're just going back to the controller here, so you can zoom in on it a little bit. You can see the solar panels come in. You actually have a load that can come off too, and then you also have the battery. You could put, you know, you could also put the load off the battery if you wanted there. Um, it, it does a really good job overall. It gives you the battery health, you know, where the battery status is at incoming energy and when it has energy outgoing so if i were to disconnect this it works pretty well and the case does seal i mean we've had rain snow i mean you guys have heard me i've wanted to do this for a while and it's been snowing out so <laughs> um we finally got there it happened to be temperature dropped down but it's finally nice and sunny it stopped raining so you can tell it just stopped raining with how wet the bricks are here but this is the solar setup I have done for the cameras, running a camera out here, being able to monitor my property. That's one big thing is to be able to do is, you know, make sure that people aren't trespassing and everything else around here, which can be um, a challenge at some time. So let me know what your thoughts are in the description below. I like the setup, what it is. I'll leave the parts. It's worked quite well for what I've wanted it for, but now I want to upgrade it, improve it, and uh, continue expanding upon it. So any suggestions you guys have, leave it in the comments below, and I'll be sure to um, let you know and give you an update video as I modify and upgrade this over the time. So thank you for watching Forever Load. Thank you for um, subscribing, liking, sharing the videos. I always do appreciate that, and until next time, do all the fun YouTube stuff, and God bless.